It was a grim interview. Disgrace New York Congressman and convicted felon Michael Grimm, who's running for his old seat in this year's midterm election, said Friday that he can relate to President Trump's frustrations with the Russia investigation, because they're both victims of a political witch hunt. The 47 year old Queen's native made the comments during an appearance on CNN that was supposed to focus on the public feud between Trump and Steve Bannon. But the conversation quickly turned heated as it steered towards Grimm's checkered past, which includes a seven-month prison stint for felony tax fraud. Host Jake Tapper pointed out the apparent hypocrisy in Grimm rebuking Bannon in light of this week's revelations that the ex-White House strategist had excoriated several of Trump's family and cabinet members. Bannon stuck his neck out for you after you were released from prison and you wanted to get back into public life, Tapper said referring to Bannon's endorsement of Grimm's Republican congressional run. For a guy who went to jail, don't you think you're being a little unforgiving? Tapper's question set off a seething back and forth in which Grimm adamantly insisted that his felony conviction, which prosecutors reached after he pleaded guilty to concealing nearly $1 million from taxation, was the product of a wide-ranging witch hunt orchestrated by the Obama administration. When the entire weight of the Obama Justice Department is against you and they're singling you out for delivery boys off the books, literally four people off the books at a restaurant that I sold five years before, that, my friend, is the definition of a political witch hunt, Grimm said, referring to the proceeds he would pocket from his since-defunct Brooklyn eatery, Health Delicious. Grimm, who represented Staten Island and parts of Brooklyn in Congress from 2011 until his 2015 conviction, insisted that he paid a horrific price for his crime, but Tapper wouldn't let him off easy and pointed out that perhaps the judge wanted to make an example of him because he was a member of Congress. So single someone out for something everyone else gets a civil fine for? Grimm said. I'm sorry, that's a political witch hunt to me. You're obviously still not repentant, Tapper concluded. The contentious back and forth even unearthed the infamous moment Grimm threatened to throw a NY1 reporter off IF, ing balcony and break, him, in half like a boy, 